Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be going over another one of the unique items, the uber uniques, uh, that I didn't get access to last season, but I have access to now. And that is the Melted Heart of Selig. Now the Melted Heart of Selig has changed since the previous version, and this is the 1.30 version. Um, the old version looks like this. Uh, the Melted Heart of Selig, 19 all resistances. 18 all stats, 19.5 core skill, damage while healthy, resource regeneration. Um, and they had it at 30 maximum resource, and it would absorb all damage and basically give you 1% life for every... Uh, or, or burn resource for every 1% life that you would make, you know, blah, blah, blah. It, they changed it entirely, so it doesn't do the same thing anymore. And the new version looks like this, uh, which is 28.5% resistance to all elements. Of course, this is fully upgraded. Uh, 54 all stats, which is pretty nice. 25.5% movement speed, which does vary between 15.8 to 26.2. I don't know uh, why this one varies, because I think they uh, specifically made these not vary back in 1.23 or whatever. But um, it still seems to vary. The movement speed still seems to vary. The uh, Also, it gives a very healthy uh, damage to healthy, which is 105.8 damage while healthy, which is actually pretty good because the way that this amulet works, um, it still pretty much means you have a lot of health. And uh, and then on top of that, we also have 18.5% resource generation, which is going to be sorely needed because, of course, you're burning resource as HP. Um, and they bumped it up from 30 maximum resource to 60 maximum resource, which is insane, by the way. Um, and um, now it is when taking damage, 75% is drained as to resource every 1% of maximum life you would have lost. So basically at this point, um, it no longer completely prevents your death if you get like mega donked. Because uh, it's only taking 75% instead of 20, uh, well, basically 100%, which is what it was taking before. However, um, if you go out and you play with it, what you're going to find out is that it's still pretty darn powerful. 75% um, is still a lot of damage reduction, which goes over to your resource. And um, basically makes it so that you're kind of like uh, invincible uh, while you have resource active. Now, this particular character, I'm running 218 maximum resource, and I actually get a little bit higher when I run some other stuff, like... Uh, Melted Art of Selig, for instance, uh, which brings me up to 278. And then I also have, like, the passive regeneration as well, which kind of just makes it so that I barely lose any HP at all. Now, I can still eventually die because I will take 25% of whatever damage comes in. But the thing is, is that, uh, you know, it's it was a sorely needed nerf, unfortunately. Um, unlike Max Roll, which said that this item was an F-rank tier. Uh, it was never F-rank, not even in anyone's wildest dreams. Um, the original version was most likely S-tier, if not even, like, some sort of mythical tier above S-tier, because it could literally make your character immortal. Um, and not only that, but, but for certain characters, the 30 maximum essence that it provided before was actually a huge, ridiculous bonus in damage output for a lot of characters. Um, I can't really speak for every single character, but what I can do is I can show you how that 30 maximum essence, or now the 60 maximum essence, affects a character uh, in a very drastic way. Um, for instance, this character that I'm playing right now is a Bone Spirit Necromancer that gains maximum damage or damage based on essence. So I currently have a 4% multiplier here based on each point of essence when spent when casting Bone Spirit. Well, if you take a calculator and you just run a simple calculation, you can take your 60 and you can multiply that by the 4% that Bone Spirit has, and that is a 240% Bone Spirit multiplier added with the amulet. Um, on top of that, Bone Spirit also um, is a Bone Skill. So Bone Skills are also affected by the Ossified Essence key passive, which is going to give me 0.5 increased damage per point of essence you have upon cast, which I currently have 278, so 278, but it's above 50, so minus 50. Um, and then you can multiply that by 0.5, 0 0.05, or is it 0 0.05 or is it 0 0.5? I think it's just 0.5, right? Yes, it's just 0.5. So we're going to multiply that by 0.5, which is going to get us another 114. So that's added onto our 240%, which gives us another 354% multiplier there. Um, and then on top of that, we also have our critical damage multiplier from serration aspect, which is 1% per essence above 50. Again, same as before, so 278 minus 50, so 228. So in this case, it's 228 
times 1, which of course is a 228 times multiplier. So, as you can clearly see, having a huge amount of maximum essence on certain characters, like the Bone Spirit Necromancer, the Bone Spear Necromancer, uh, the Hoda Barbarian, the Ramalodnes uh, Barbarian, which encompasses a huge number of builds, by the way, uh, the new unique item for the Rogue, which allows you to um, have a huge bonus damage. I believe it's 1.5% per point of energy that you spend when using a core skill after using an ultimate so it basically turns your core skill into like a literal nuclear bomb and uh, and having something like Melted Heart of Sail Lake for this would again be a very good choice because with the new unique it's 1.5 percent per point of energy that you have and as you can clearly see here, I have 278, and that's without the potion, by the way. So uh, that's 278, which is going to be a uh, multiplier of 417% added on to that particular ability. So in this case, you're just getting a massive amount of additional damage by adding in something like Melted Heart of Salek. Um, on top of that, the survivability that Melted Heart of Salek offers is just absolutely insane. And once you put it on, it's going to reduce pretty much all of your damage by 75 percent so let, let's let's take a, a a kind of a realistic look here and let's say a monster were to come in and you know wail on us right well if we had a monster come in dish out you know a particularly large amount of damage so let's say I'm trying to think here um this seems like there's background noise in the stream let me, let me uh bink Bink. No. Where's that coming from? I'm just going to switch that off for the moment. We'll figure that out on the next video. Um, so let's say you had, uh, do, 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 say, a monster come in and hit you for 10,000 damage, right? And let's say you're a particularly studious, you know, like, uh, defensive character. And, you know, you've, you've done your homework. You've got your juggernaut aspect. You've got all your beautiful, like, defensive aspects. And you're reducing that damage by a total of 85%. That means that you're going to cut 8,500 off the top, and you're only going to take 1,500. Well, this uh, amulet is going to take 75% of that and apply it to your resource. So you can take another 75% right off the top of that, which means you're only going to actually take 375 damage to your HP bar. Everything else is going to go to your resource. And as you can clearly see, despite the fact that, you know, it has been uh, quote-unquote nerfed to 75%, I can guarantee you it's still absolutely insane in terms of the a way that it makes your character tanky. Um, the 105 healthy bonus, additive bonus, is actually pretty nice too because obviously the way that this thing works and its defensive capacity means you're pretty much always healthy, which is pretty insane. Um, and then on top of that, the additional change from the movement speed, so they changed it from core damage, and of course I don't have that up anymore, but they changed it from core damage to uh, movement speed, and I think that was a really good change because I think most people like to have movement speed on their amulets. Um, if you're looking for this particular amulet, the only place you can really get it is Duriel. So you're going to have to farm Duriel, and that's pretty much it. Um, I was lucky enough to get mine last night, and uh, yeah, I, I was pretty excited about it. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, this amulet is pretty cool. It also has a flavor text. It says, do not allow your passions to become obsessions. Fuel the fire that burns within you, and, but it is madness to allow yourself to become ash to please an uncaring universe last words of master Salik. so this amulet without uh, you know like going into the specifics is really op it is probably one of the most powerful s tier freaking uber uniques uh bar none i think it's more powerful than grandfather i think it's more powerful than ring of the starless skies i think it's more powerful than harlequin crest um, the, the power that this thing offers you is not just offensive, it's defensive. It's both. It literally gives you massive offensive capability, depending on your build. And even if you're not one of these characters that gets used from the maximum resource increase, it still is a massive defensive increase to your character overall, which means you can focus more on offensive effects with your character. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when we're just talking about the melted heart of Salig, and I'm super excited to have it. Uh, as always, keep watching.